Welcome to Rebel Speak and Be Encouraged. Today I want to encourage you to be pressing back against the, there's a nature of the world right now trying to confine us to ever smaller spaces. Like the nature of the world, what does the world mean? When Paul talks about the world, he, he's talking about the, the rulers and principalities that are not in alignment with God. So things that have authority and power that are trying to shape this world kind of like that antichrist meaning against Christ way. They're trying to make the world be something it was never meant to be. And that's always less. And so there's these powers that are trying to get you and me to live our life in some way that makes the land. I don't know, I just have that. We get on the smaller and smaller, smaller and smaller bit of property. And, and there's something in Christ in us, the spirit that wants to be pushing back and saying, no, God's a measure of land for me is wide it's broad it's not narrowly defined and the, and the force is trying to have me living on a oh, oh don't bug this person oh don't bug that person oh oh this part of your personality oh oh we have to resist it and say no i get to be me fully i have a breadth that my my humanity was created by god to fully be revealed not just small not to and there's power and powers and pressures trying to get you into this little tiny cube and that's you and it's not you you're big and broad and beautiful and and you're meant to be expressive and, and free so very free so from this is paul in um romans 12 therefore i urge you brothers and sisters to view um in view of god's mercy we get to be everything we're meant to be because god's mercy is upon us we're walking and living in that mercy to offer your bodies as a living sacrifice. Live within your embodied humanity, okay? Don't have some sense of your spirit outside your humanity. Your spirit is your humanity. You are one. There's going to be a resurrected body. You will always, I look at my toes sometimes and say, my little toes, you're eternal. I don't know, you know, there's, there's, they, don't, they don't fully recognize Christ's body upon his resurrection. But once they know it's him, they see him and he's embodied. We are eternally embodied beings. Love your body well. Treat your body well. Respect your body. It's beautiful. It's not a temporary, there's not some temporary you temporarily housed in this temporary body or some eternal you temporarily housed in some temporary body. No. Love your body. It's a part. Your body informs, right? If you think of your spirit, your body is informing through your body, you're having your life. Love your body well, treat it well, treat it with the respect it deserves. <laughs> this is your true and proper, this is your true and proper worship. Do not conform, okay, to the patterns of this world. Don't let this world dictate reality to you. Do not conform to the patterns of this world, but be transformed rather Here's the real place you want to spend your time and energy by the renewing of your mind in the presence of God. Let your mind keep growing in an understanding of what, who you are as a child of God. Then you will be able to test and approve what God's will is, his good, pleasing, and perfect will. Even don't let the world conform your understanding of God's will even. Don't let the world make you think that in your walk with Christ, you're on some little tiny narrow journey that you've got to, don't let that be conformed. Don't let your view of God and the fullness of God's glory, his good and perfect and pleasing will. Gosh, that's a big thing, a good, perfect, pleasing will. God has a good, perfect, pleasing will that's not born out of the pattern of this world, how the world thinks and understands. It's kind of like Nicodemus when he, he comes and, and Christ is like, you cannot know and find what you're looking for without being born again. And there's Nicodemus, what? Get back in my mom's womb? What are you talking about? And it's like, no, you've got to come into my presence. You've got to get in contact with me. I'm the only one that understands, right? And Jesus is like, no, I, I know fully the truth of reality beyond the limitations of the created world. Only I've been to heaven. That's what he says. Only I've been there. And I just want to say to you, the world wants to make us all small. It wants to speak, make God small. It makes, wants to make everything generic. Just, oh, it's like this chop, chop, you know, just like assembly line reality. And God's like, no, you were never created for assembly line reality. You were not created for assembly line God. <laughs> you were created for the real true me. 
your spirit is meant to dwell in the real true me. I meant to tr I meant to fully dwell in you. That's the, the beauty of that dynamic relationship. I meant to dwell in you. You're meant to dwell in me. And 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 I want to expose myself. I want to express myself to you. I want to make myself known to you. You make yourself, we get to be made known by and through and to God. It's, it's very dynamic. And I just want to say to you, don't let the lies, God's exposing the lies that are dictating small, dictating God small, dictating you and I small. God's exposing those lies. God is, ah, God is not in the small. God's in the big. And God's speaking big into your life. And I just want to encourage you to where, if there's any place where you're tiptoeing cautiously in this life, I want you to speak to those things. Get back. This, get back. <laughs> no, I'm pushing you back. Everything trying to make my life small right now, scary and small. If I don't get it right, I'm gonna, everything's going to fall apart. If I, if I don't figure it out right, it's all going to fall apart. No, God's got your back. God's got your back. It's the nature of God. It's the nature of God to provide for you. It's the nature of God. That's salvation. God is salvation. God is your salvation. Don't be discouraged. Don't be discouraged by what you haven't gotten right in this world. You can say, oh my gosh, God, what's wrong with me? God's like, it's okay. Invite me in. I'm in you. I've got a way forward. I've always got a way forward. And that way is vast, not narrow. God's, God, God is of good intentions. God's intentions on your life are good. He's got good intentions for you. And you're not going to stumble. And they're not small. Be encouraged. Don't listen to the lies of the enemy. He has bad intentions and they're very small. Be courageous. Be courageous. Push back. Push back. Push back. Say, God's got my back. I don't care how, how much I messed up. God's got my back. It's God's character. It's God's goodness. He's for me, not against me. In Jesus' name.